Hey everybody, in this video we want to dive into Datadog and get a Kubernetes cluster configured or connected, whatever you'd like to call it, to Datadog. We want Datadog to be our monitoring and observability platform through and through. So monitoring, logging, tracing, APM, metrics, all of it. All right, so first things first, if you haven't already created a Datadog account, you can get one for free and you can have a 14 day free trial. Now, one thing that I do want to just point out here, I'm going to go to agent really quick. Now, if you've never configured Datadog before, you're going to see something like this. So when you first set up your account, you're going to see something like this. Now, when you scroll down, you're going to see an option for Kubernetes. And this does a few different things. It essentially shows you how to install the agent and the log collection. Now, this these instructions definitely need to be updated at some point because this is a very bare minimum information that we actually do need. And you're going to see why in just a second. So in the code here, first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add the repo. All right, and then you're going to want to update it if need be. Now, really quick, I can just showcase this here. I am running on AKS, so I have three worker nodes running on Azure Kubernetes service, all of which are running Kubernetes version 1.26. Now you could do the same thing on EKS, on GKE, wherever you're running, right? So let's go through what we need for the Helm install. I'm just going to zoom in here a little bit. First things first, this installation right here, this Helm configuration, it's going to install the cluster agent and the node agent, all right? So first we're going to specify our namespace data dog and we're going to be creating it down here. Next, we're going to specify the cluster name. So my cluster name is AKS environment 01. Next, I'm going to set up my site. So the data dog site that I'm running on is an AWS US East one, and this is the SAS version. So I'm not hosting that myself. This is just, you know, this is where if you use the data dog HQ.com, it's sitting in AWS. Next, for the cluster agent, we want to ensure these two lines. Why? Because this is going to give us high availability on the cluster agent. If next, on lines 14 and 15, we're going to be setting up the cube state metrics in Datadog. Well, in the Kubernetes cluster, but for Datadog, we're going to be enabling logging here. We're going to be enabling the ability to collect all of the container insights. We're going to be specifying our API key. And then we're going to be specifying the process agent. And what that does is this allows us to use the live container configuration, which we're going to see when we install this and get this all up and running in Datadog. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy this line and I'm going to paste it in right here. All right, and of course, this is going to take a few minutes. Well, not a few minutes, but it should just be a few seconds to actually get deployed. All right, and as we can see, that was deployed successfully. So now if we run kubectl get pods namespace datadog, we're going to see our cluster agent. We're going to see the datadog agents. There's going to be three of them here because we have three worker nodes. Okay. So while that's just coming up and getting ready, let's go over to the datadog dashboard and do a quick refresh. All right, now there's no data here yet because we have to wait. So it's probably going to take, I, I've seen usually between like three and five minutes for everything to actually get up and running. So let's go ahead and maybe give it three to five minutes, get up, grab a snack, coffee, water, whatever you'd like. All right, so now we have some of the information in here. So let's click on deployments, for example. And as you can see, now our deployments are showing up. We go to clusters, we can see our clusters here as well. If we go to namespaces, we can see our namespaces. And then for example, if we just click on Datadog, we can see the information here about our deployments. Now everything is still coming up, so that's why it's not fully available, but that is how you can get your environment up and running in Datadog. So if you wanna use Datadog for your monitoring and observability, this is how you can do it. 